Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's not okay. Hold on. It's not okay. My microphone is way too high. It's not too hot, but it's way too high. It's practically covering my face. I can't see anything. That's ridiculous. Hello. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. I gotta get, like, absolutely comfy, because we are on... We're in mouse and keyboard territory here. Okay. Am I good? Camera's good. Camera's good? Phone is on. Phone is... Should not be making any noise. Okay. I think we're good. Hi. Hello. Um, I am going to play today, tonight, which is a Monday, uh, Shadows of Doubt, uh, a game that I... Uh, played very briefly over on twitch over the weekend i just had some free time wanted to check it out uh seems cool i've gone through the tutorial mission so i sort of know what i'm doing barely barely know what i'm doing let's uh let's start with a sandbox uh, what is this yeah this is just sandbox mode in a new generated city we're, we're not going to call this nagoya because i don't think it is These are just all actual named places that it's uh, that, that it's offering us here in the random generator. Why don't we call this Doubt City? Because I think that's funny and, and very noir, right? And the game is called Shadows of Doubt. It just makes sense, sense to me. All right, this is uh, Doubt City. We're going to do a medium map because I'd be scared what will happen to my computer if we do any bigger than that. <laughs> If you haven't seen this game before, you're about to have your mind blown, as as mine once was, um, at just how absolutely bonkers this game is. I'm going to turn up the music audio just a little bit, but that might be too loud once the actual sound effects kick in. Well, I'll, I'll just have to monitor that on the fly. Um, okay. I think this is just a random seed here that it's offering us. Um, we will... Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, before, it offered me this random name, which I thought was beautiful. Nakamo Tiger is great. I'm going to roll this dice a couple of more times to see if it gives us anything more interesting or cool, but I think Nakamo Tiger might... We might be sticking with that. Uh, oh, Lawrence Corley. Holden O'Neill. Irvin Claiborne. And some of these are pretty good. Dallas Kyle is very good. That is such a detective name. Dallas Kyle. And it all began when a pair of legs walked into my office. Jensen Beck. Jermaine Allen. Okay. I, I really think Nakamo Tiger might still be the strongest contender. That's where we're going with that. Nakamo Tiger... Tiger uppercut. Uh, we'll roll a random gender. I, I'm still NB. Okay. Uh, that works for me. I don't even think you see yourself in this game. Or, or, no, wait, no. You do have like an, an ID. Like every every NPC and character in the game has like a, an identification card. I think that's the only time you actually see yourself. Um, we'll do... Uh, let's do normal. Let's bump up the, the difficulty to normal. Because I, I sort of have a grasp of what I'm doing, right? Um, that works for me. Gameplay settings. Um, let's start in the middle of the day. Sandbox mode starting apartment. Oh, I can choose so I do or do not have an apartment. I think I do want one. Five lockpicks, 100 money. Okay. Wow. There's a lot of uh, different modifiers you can throw in here. I'm going to mostly do the default stuff. And let's continue. Let's generate a city. Wow, if only it were that easy. I'm going to trust that the stream is going good. It says I'm still alive for five minutes. That's a good sign. Okay. Because <laughs> I have to close my browsers, right? Otherwise we get that weird encoding error thing. Um... It happened over on Twitch, and I was like, ah, oh, geez, I had to close my browsers. I had to turn off my camera. It was a whole thing. I've reduced the resolution of my camera. Ooh, we're not at 10, 1080 anymore. We're at 720, which I think is still acceptable. I'm hoping it is. Praying it's acceptable. All right, creating citizens. 
reticulating splines. Citizens are lazy. They use the same passcodes for everything, including keypads and cruncher logins. Okay, that's funny. I, I did find that to be true. And a lot of people love to write down their passwords. Apparently in the future, um, IT slash security is just not a thing. Everyone writes down their, their um, four-digit codes on, on Post-it notes and usually right on their computer. It's very funny. It's like, ah, dang, I had to reset my password again. Here it is. <laughs> Which is the first thing they tell you not to do if you work in security at all, right? I use a password manager, and you should too. Okay, would you like to enable tutorial text? No, actually, I am good. I should be good. All right, it is the late 20th century. It was the first new century in 100 years. Hyper-industrialization has swept the planet. The old Bourbon Empire has crumbled, giving way to the United Atlantic States. And the first elected, elected megacorporation president in history, Starch Cola. So that's consistent between my, my cities. It's always Starch Cola, which I think is funny. It's a very good name. As sea levels rise, cities have become polluted islands. I think I made the joke uh, when I was on Twitch at this point. It was like, oh, where's where's the alternate history? This just sounds like history. <laughs> and it does, doesn't it? Everything is miserable. Rival corps vie for power, policed by the privatized Starch Cola Enforcers. Come on, let me go. Let me just play. Maybe I can skip. Maybe there's a button to skip this, but but what if also what if we didn't? You're not crazy. There is not supposed to be music here, I don't think. All right. 12 a.m. Monday, January 2nd. All right. So first things first, we're going to... Oh, right. First things first. Actually, I need to rebind a control. I forgot this wasn't correct. Um, where are you, my dear crouch button? There you are. Yes. Perfect. Oh, it's back to normal. Thank goodness. Whoops. Okay, what are my buttons? <laughs> I'm sitting here like, oh, I have to rebind my buttons. What are my buttons? Okay. I don't know about you. I can never have control or uh, crouch on the C key. It it just feels so wrong and bad to me. I don't like it. All right. What do we got here? Um, inspect my tenancy agreement. I did I did read this before. I went through the <laughs> took the time to read this on my own. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. these are all very standard like things that you would expect in a in a dystopia but one of them was um oh where was it? i mean a lot of these are very funny um tenants shall not display or affix any visual media media relating to a rival corporation to any surface any such media will be removed and destroyed without warning and a financial penalty will be occurred incurred that's very fun to me and like of course of course that's the case. Also, I like how I am learning about myself from these files, right? Nakamo Tiger. I can pull up my own profile. Uh, blood type A+. Plus. Oh, man. I got, I got a good grade on my blood type. Incredible. Oops. Ah, oh, the buttons are so... I wish the buttons were better. <laughs> um, maybe I can make it a little better for myself. Um... Controls. I want the cork board to be. What is it right now? Case board toggle. Can we make that like? Yeah, let's make that what um, the crouch key was. And now I want my flashlight to be what it is in every other video game that has a flashlight. Um, I want that to be on F. 
and maybe use alternate can be on mouse button three to replace the flashlight and maybe we are good now maybe we can be good huh okay perfect all right like i said everything is randomly generated in this city and you'll see way way more of that uh in the coming minutes here uh, but the first things first is I gotta I gotta search my apartment for any goodies we might have, right? You'll see what kind of goodies I'm even talking about here in a minute. <laughs> Lazy dog picture. I already like Nakamo Tiger, you know? Good sense of taste. Okay, we got our bathroom. It's important to make note of that. We will be using it a lot. Here we go. Here we go. The kitchen. This is where the magic happens, baby. We are looking for anything small. We're looking for like the smallest objects you could imagine. Not duct tape. That ain't it. Do I really not have any in my kitchen? Oh man. Well, that's a bummer. I mean, I'll find plenty of them out in the world. I'm looking for lock picks, you see. That is what I'm up to. But that's fine. Okay. Let's uh, actually make note of our apartment. It is 204 Rodriguez. I'm going to go over here. Nope, not a case. We're not making a new case. We're making a new... Oh. Oh, I guess so. I'm going to call this me stuff. Confirm. Me stuff. Post-it note. My house. 204... What is this address, actually? I, I didn't even think to look what the address was. Um, ba -ba -ba, map, where are we? Rodriguez building, okay. Bender bending, Rodriguez. Oh, oh, hold on. Camera's giving me an, an encoding overload, God damn it! Why is this happening? This happens every time. I'm just going to go without camera for a minute, and hopefully it fixes itself. Um, Rodriguez building, that's the one we want. So, me stuff. 204 Rodriguez building. We're just going to pin that right over here. So I'll always know. I'm so mad. I thought I didn't fix that encoding thing. I thought I even fixed it. But whatever. We'll live. We'll live. We'll get through it. All right. So hello. Welcome to Doubt City and, and Shadows of Doubt's procedurally generated magic. Um every every hold on can i go to my case board in the map again yeah here we go we don't need the notebook so this is our city right it's about um it's like a three by four city blocks situation here um and as you can see we're looking at the uh, ground floor layout of every building here and not only that we are looking at if i zoom in a little bit we can see things like um breaker boxes and cameras doorways um what type of establishment they are and if we zoom out here a little bit every every street is named every building is named we can also like scale up these buildings right so some of these buildings are very tall they have many many floors because they're like apartment buildings and office spaces and stuff we've got at at the very highest 19 floors of of building here all filled with stuff and people and oh i'm sorry i forgot this goes down to negative two yeah, we've got 21 floors of stuff. And all of these people are randomly generated. And they all have, like, relationships with each other. It's crazy. Afternoon, what's your name? Sorry, that's personal. You will find that most people are very cagey about uh, any information, which uh, makes sense. We are in the crappy future. <laughs> you don't want to be giving things out like that. Uh, have you heard, or seen or heard anything unusual? Oh, uh, well, rats. In the tutorial mission, you you get a case right away. Like, it shows you the controls, it shows you some of your options, and then it throws a case at you. For now, I think we have to wait for something to pop up, which I, I'm assuming it would pretty quick. And if not, we can actually just go to sleep and wait for something to pop up on uh, what I what I believe to be a police scanner. Uh, what is this little guy right here? What is that? I guess it's nothing. Um, okay, well, here's a vent that I could use to get into this building that I'm uh, not allowed to be in. Like, I can just open this door, but as soon as I go in, you can see over on the left here, I am trespassing. I've got potential fines if I'm caught. 
Um, we don't want that. We don't want to be trespassing. Oh, hold on. Is there a basket? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, let's go. Whoops. Uh, let's see if I can dunk this. Well, I not really dunk. I don't think... I don't have the, the proper ups to get a dunk, but we'll we'll just try to... Holy shit, my dude's got arms, though. <laughs> All right, well, Nakamo Tiger is a very good thrower, but not a good uh, basketball player, as it turns out. We should maybe make note of where City Hall is. We found it. It's on Streeter Parade. <laughs> okay. Can I plan a route? Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even know you could do that. You can just click anywhere you want on the map and open a little context menu. Cancel route. Plan route for here. Now we have a little uh, guide arrow to let us know where we're going. And that's pretty nifty. I feel like the graffiti, while the assets for it are not randomly generated, their placement is... All right, we found we found City Hall. Um, okay, I don't have any ca active cases, so I can't take anything from that. What are my items? I have nothing but my fists, a watch, a fingerprint scanner, and uh, and coins. Um, let me. I should have only a hundred bucks, right? Yeah, I'm gonna buy a pair of handcuffs because we're gonna want those for whatever case we do. A door wedge? Interesting. I didn't see that before. How many lockpicks come in a lockpick kit? Does it tell me? I don't think so. Um, bandages and splints and all kinds of cool things. Ballistic armor. Ooh, we're going to work up to that. We'll want that for sure because things get do get pretty ballistic. I'm going to put the handcuffs. Uh, you know, I actually don't need to do a quick bind for him because we won't need him to too much Ooh, all right i already have a moral choice here uh what you see before you is a sync disc upgrade vial and on its own it doesn't do anything because it, it only upgrades right so we have a uh where is it we have a sort of like deus ex system here where you can plop uh an upgrade into your body and, an, and you have a choice between one of two options um of how it upgrades you and um the only one I've seen so far is a choice between increased health or increased inventory space, which, hey, I don't know if you notice, you only get four inventory spaces here, other than, like, your uh, your key item, like this print scanner and the watch and stuff like that. So space is at a premium. You really got to be, be a good juggler. What is this here? Sharpener. I am on the lookout for paper clips or... Uh... Oh, shit. Reported murder, street or parade. Actually, that's right where we are, isn't it? Yeah. Um, new murder case. Well, well, that's fine. We can just call it new murder case. Did someone die out here? Oh my god! It literally just happened. Hold on. <laughs> Did. This is crazy. Okay. Um, let me take the, the fingerprint of this cadaver with the wiggly hips. That's so bonkers. It happened right outside. I could have maybe found the culprit if I'd seen it, right? Theoretically. Uh, business card. Didn't have what it takes. Cut to the chase. They must earn my respect. Okay, well, I'm going to put that on my cork board here. That seems pretty important, right? Um, we don't know who this is. They have the type A fingerprint that I just scanned. They're an adult, a lady, average height, large build. Okay. We don't have anything just yet, but this is our this is our Vic. Um, I've already inspected. Wait, there we go. We're going to analyze this body. Found their work ID. Myrtle Peak. Pisic. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. I, I did do that in broad daylight, didn't I? I took their money from them. 
this is their residence. I am going to um, undo my mistake by... Oh, God. I need to leave. Oh, my legs are broken. Oh, I've really done it now. <laughs> Shit. Maybe I shouldn't have taken money from their wallet. Well, I have good news and I have good news. Um, <laughs> I can... Uh, what are my medical fees? I'll just pay him. And I'll I'll heal myself and we'll we'll figure out what to do after this. <laughs> I'm hydrated and energized. Okay. How much am I in the hole? What do I have? Um I have zero money. That's fine. I guess they can't take what I don't have, right? Okay, the good news is that the hospital is actually located right above City Hall. <laughs> so I don't have to walk very far. To continue the case. And I think I get to keep the key for free that I took off the body. And let's take ourselves a collected form Business Nightwalker. The case of the Business Nightwalker. That's a good case name. Okay. Head of HR for Renworthy Corp. Let's also pin that. She works there. We can look at the address in a minute. Let's continue analyzing this body. We got that. Um, a Lazarus semi-automatic pistol produced in large numbers during the Mustard War uses low-caliber ammunition. So she owns that. Or maybe it was discarded here, and we, we won't really know. Okay, from examining the body, it appears the victim has been poisoned. I can determine the time of death is between 1245 and 1309 on Monday. Yep. So 1245 and 109. A bullet wound... Oh. I'm sorry... Poisoned and shot? Which did she die of, then? A bullet wound from buckshot, typically fired from a shotgun. You cannot sit here and tell me she was both poisoned and... <laughs> and shot. Well, I have to redo that, because I forgot to pin the other information, didn't I? Oh, no, I, I did get it. Okay. Good. I'm, I'm very smart. Um, okay. Now let's look at our resolve thing here. So, this is how you make your money, right? It's like, what's the full name of the killer? Um, we can arrest them ourselves with those handcuffs. You get a decent-sized reward for that. Um, do you have evidence that places the killer at the crime scene? I'm assuming that little card that I had... Actually, let me... Can I scan this bad boy for prints? Um... Oh, I can turn this any color I want and rename it. That's cool. I guess... Oh, maybe not. Context menu. It just says business card. I don't think I can... Can I drop it? Oh, it's still on the ground. I'm a fool. Okay, this has a type B fingerprint on it, which does, uh, does not match this person. Any unnamed fingerprint you have is just going to be called type. It's just going to iterate on the letter. So this is a type B. The next one we don't know will be type C, etc., etc. Um, awesome. So theoretically, we have the killer's fingerprint. And now we just need to narrow it down. Um, didn't have what it takes. Cut to the chase. They must earn my respect. All right. So what do we got here? We've got their house, which is probably a decent lead. I'm going to say, I'm going to create a custom string here that says home. And we have their work address. Let's zoom out here a little bit, move these over to the side. Um, I'm going to say, boop, found near body. And then just move these all kind of closer. All right, um, we want 701 Celery Towers. Let's plan a route there. And go. Hello. Hey, have you heard or seen anything unusual? I did see somebody suspicious. They were of average build. I saw them today at Black Parade around 1 o'clock. Well, I was passed out then, actually, I believe. They were, oh, okay. Oh. 
Okay, what did she say? Black Parade. Afternoon, what's your name? Mind your own business. All right, fine. That's fine. What's Black Parade? Is that a business around here? Nope, not the notebook. I want the map, please. Thank you. Okay, Black Parade is the name of the street. So she was saying she saw them at this intersection around 1 o'clock and they looked mad, which does... Actually, it was not passed out then. It was after. It was after the murder. She said she witnessed them, them at the time of the murder, so that's fine. Where are we going? Just around this building? Cool. You know what I've never understood? Why cities have these steam vents coming up out of the ground? I'm sure it's a very good reason. Hello, where are you going? Hey, mister. Hey, what's up? What's your quest? You're probably not a mister. That was my bad. Have you heard or seen anything unusual? All right, well, I won't keep you. You could just be late for work. All right. Salibi Towers. We're going to the seventh floor. Go. Yeah, I like this game a lot. It's it's very cool. I feel like I don't know for sure, but I feel like all of the cases are going to be murders. But I don't know. It's just all I've encountered so far is is murder type cases. All right, seven oh one. Uh, we'll try opening it. Um, Move the door, the floor mat. There's no key there. Let's, uh... Okay, there is somebody home. So I've got some bad news to deliver now. <laughs> is this text backwards? 701? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's funny. That's gotta be a glitch, right? Hello. Afternoon, what's your name? I linked to a photo and a voice. Interesting. Do you know this person? Mind your own business. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me, even though it's a, like a really valid reason. Have you seen or heard anything unusual? Okay, mind your own business, as if I'd tell you. Can I come in and take a look around? Okay. So we do not have permission to come in. Uh, and un unfortunately, they are home. That's not great for us. So, what are my options here? I could uh, pick the lock to, to gain access temporarily. I could I could um, break the door down. Like if you run at it, uh, you see that barge option pop up briefly on the right click. Uh, you can break a door down. If there's vents connected to the place, you can sneak in that way. Or ideally, you can just talk to somebody and they'll be nice to you. But this is a, this is a rainy noir city, so nobody is ever nice. What if I dropped a save right now just to make sure that I wasn't being silly? Call it, uh, Doubtfully Yours. That's my, that's my personal name for the case. So I've got no luck with this person, and I don't know how long they're going to be home, so I think what I'd like to do now is actually visit the, uh, the place of business where this uh, dead person works at. I think that's going to be our next best approach. What time is it right now in the in the world? It is uh, three fifty-five. Okay. <sighs> Drinking a little uh, pink lemonade, crystal light. It's pretty delicious. All right. How far of a walk is this? Okay, cool. They work, like, right next to City Hall. That's pretty good. Oh, this ramen looks so happy. I want that. I want to be as happy as that ramen. Okay. Now, how many floors up is this? Do we, do we suspect? We're going to go one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven floors. Oh, it says that. It says that at the bottom of my screen. I did not have to I did not have to use arithmetic to get that. I am a fool. Here 
here is what is what is this business called? Renworthy Corp. All right, let's see what's good. So immediately, can I open these? Are these openable vents? No. Here's a computer that is logged in. I'm sorry, it's called a cruncher. It's a cruncher that's logged in. Hmm. Jeffrey Fitzpatrick. Pardon me. Um, okay. Um, all right, cool. Adelaide Singleton, Leonard Garnier, Dasan Buffalo, Misaki Kudo. So look, every like I said, every one of these is randomly generated. It's a citizen, where they live, um, a small history, where they work, and certain, um, certain quirks about them, right? It's very cool. I'm just going to go through every one of these documents and get uh, get some of all of these. Uh... Okay. That, sh that might be the entire employee roster here that I know about now. And hopefully these sorts of things um, are not necessarily, like, super illegal to do. Most of these things don't seem to um, get me in trouble. So here's a note here. Remember your password this time. Your passcode is Leona's year of birth. Is that a, perhaps an employee we just saw? Um, I'm going to skip back all the way to the beginning of these documents. Leona. Nope, nope. Wait, Leonard? Nope, not, it's not Leona. Well, it does have, it does have the same letters. Leona's year of birth, but maybe there is a Leona here. <laughs> maybe Leonard's uh, nickname is Leona. Uh, I, 1976. I'll try that if I ever have to, but I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, we have... Um, okay. So now I've got pictures tied to all those profiles I just read about. I have actually forgotten who our Vic is. Who's our Vic? Mertel Pisik. I don't think that was... Oh, there we go. They were head of HR, that's right. Okay. All right. Is there any way I can get... Okay, there is somebody here. If we get, ever get the opportunity, I want to show you what I think is one of the coolest things about this game. It involves the security cameras here. Hello, Jeffrey Fitzpatrick. Can I please talk to you? Why, why can't I? What the hell was that? Let me talk to him. Why is there no conversation to be had here? That's strange. Is that a glitch? Yeah, well, I can't go in there or else I'll be trespassing. Maybe... Can I use this computer? Maybe if nobody sees me, it's okay. Jeffrey, don't look over here. Um, okay, Mertel P Pisik. This is another cool thing. Any uh, databases have contain, you know, the um, the characters that are relevant to it, and you can print their information out. Head of HR, Renworthy, their hours, their salary, stuff like that. Their fingerprints, so that could be important. Now, theoretically, I could go through every one of her co-workers here um, and check their prints. I don't remember their names. Um, I don't think it's that important. Maybe if I do... Misaki is another MI name, so that seems easy. They've got a Type C print, so that doesn't match what we were looking at before. Um, let's see, what else do we got here, though? Employee database V-mails! Lunch date from Leona Brown. Okay. I think you might be able to skip out and meet me Meet me at lunch. I miss you like eggs miss ketchup. Don't forget to pick up milk on the way home. Interesting. Vacu vacuum mail. I didn't realize that's what the V stood for. Head office called. They would like you to attend a one-on-one uh, -on -one meeting at the office in 
the echelons next week. Um, none of this looks very important. Okay. Okay. Leona Brown might be worth looking up, though, in the database. So I don't think we saw that name before. Leon. Whoops. Leon. No. That's an outside person. This Leona doesn't work here. So it must be. Um, it must be someone related to maybe Misaki, because that's who the emails were addressed to, right? Anthony Butler. So let's look up Anthony and see if he has any aliases, maybe. Or not aliases, acquaintances. Oh my god, what was the name? Anthony. <laughs> you can tell I have ADD brain when when three letters would leave my head that quickly. Okay, Anthony Butler. Um, let's uh, pin them. I don't think they're actually related to the case, but maybe it's worth um, keeping that name because their acquaintance is who we... Uh, who we want here it'll sometimes automatically create these strings and then you can make your own if you want which i think is cool and you can color code them if you really are a pervert okay profile oh i, I could have done this oh and it says his passcode oh that's so silly 202 salibi towers is anthony's but i'm not sure he's our guy so we don't necessarily Hello, Jeffrey. Can I talk? To Why won't it let me talk to you? Like, I really, really want to do that. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Um, there's an alarm there. A camera over in the corner. We don't want to mess. We don't want to be caught trespassing. It's just not good. It's so weird that it won't let me talk to them, though. That's, uh... That's a bummer, dude. Oh, here's a note here. Door code to my office has been reset to 0108. So let's try that. 0108. Okay, we know that password forever now. Oof. Okay. I'm not sure that cameras themselves will report you as if this were, like, a dishonored or a... Wait, did Dishonored have cameras? I don't remember. As if this were a Deus Ex, but... Oh! Oh, it's the business's closing time. Oh, crap. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I stayed here till closing time. Closing time! Okay, you don't have to go, but you can't stay here, is what the game told me. Jeffrey. Jeffrey, I would love to talk to you. Why won't it let me talk? It'll let me talk to this stranger. But not Jeffrey. Oh, yeah, let's meet in the bathroom. Where did Jeffrey go? Where is Jeffrey going to pee? Jeffrey! I'm looking for that dick! Did Jeffrey give me the, the slip? Oh, there you are. Oh, he took his coat off to, to pee. There you are. Okay, Jeffrey. Excuse me. Do you know this person? I work with them. That's Martel Pisik. Loves books. I saw them somewhere around Salibi Towers. Yes, that is their residence. Uh, what's your name? Mind your own business. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, bud. Um, can you provide fingerprints? How do I let you know your co-worker's dead? You haven't seen or heard anything unusual. Um, shoot. Anthony Butler. Yeah, I know you work with them, but that's not really new information. <laughs> so Anthony and Martell live in the same building, but there's only 12 buildings in the world, so that's not really a big coincidence. All right, Jeffrey, you can go. Enjoy your poops. Um, okay. Well, the good news is that there's nobody in there now, right? The bad news is that... Uh, 
there's a bunch of people walking around because this is an office building. Most of them are going home, it looks like. So let's... Let's wait till there's nobody around. I'm going to peek through this stool. Okay, come on. Come on. All of you need to go home. Go home. We're going to try some shit, right? Oh my god, it never ends. Now there's one going up. They must work second shift. This is miserable. Oh, my encoding is overloaded. I don't even have my camera on. I don't have any other apps open. Why is the encoding overloaded? Although I think this game does eat a lot of memory, too. Okay. Okay, once you turn that corner, it's go time, baby. That did not do it. And I guess it's good, because there's people on the stairs again. I'm going to wait. If there's any more people, I'm just going to give up on this after these last two. Oh, god damn. Okay, fine. It's fine. Um, all right. This didn't get us anywhere, did it? Why can't I zoom in and out? Why is that not working now? Hmm. Oh, what I could do, actually... I could see if there's any prints on this door. <gasps> Fingerprint type B. No kidding. Did Anthony Butler kill her? Because <laughs> we have fingerprint. Oh, I didn't. I didn't mark the fingerprint down. Shit. Okay, hold on. I can do this. Um, inspect fingerprint. Yes, okay. There we go. Now I've remembered it from the business card. Okay. Yes, that... Okay, fingerprint type B was found on a business card, which was found right next to the body. This business card did, says, didn't have what it takes to cut to the chase. They must earn my respect. Yeah, okay. Um, look, I know this is circumstantial, right? But uh, this case is called the Business Nightwalker. Um... This killer's calling card mentions that uh, Martel didn't have what it takes. Cut to the chase. They must earn my respect. I'm thinking maybe... What is this person's... Uh... Oh, they're a receptionist. I was thinking maybe Anthony... Oh, Anthony has a type D. So this is somebody else's fingerprint on the door here. But I guess we're lucky that we do know it's um, somebody who works with her, right? So we just have, do we actually do have to just scan the, uh, or not scan, but, um, look at the fingerprints. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm not, I'm going to quick save here. I don't want to be a little quick save, quick load baby, but it may come down to it. Pick this lock. Okay. Going for the gold. Okay, let's go. Can I turn off the lights in this hallway? Yes. Okay, that's good for us. I don't think anybody will care about that. Okay. Okay, we might be good. So, then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot up this computer. Oh, come on. Use this computer. I'm going to go through the employee database. Let's see. Um, I really have forgotten all of their names already. Let's see, Martel. We want, um, I'm going to pin you. I'm going to pin everybody who works at uh, Renworthy. Dasan Buffalo. My money's on Dasan Buffalo, just because that's a silly name. Barbara Rosman. Um, Jeffrey. Wait, who is that? Jeffrey Fitzpatrick, Q Hake. Oh, I'm too close to the light from this room, so this camera is spotting me. Okay. Adelaide Singleton. So Jeffrey Fitzpatrick does double duty? Is that what I'm to believe here? Or did I just click on the wrong thing before? Whatever. Leonard Garnier. 
and oh, I already have Adelaide. Okay, I think that's everyone. So let's go through. Um, ba -ba -ba, Adelaide Singleton, print. They have a type E. Um, Jeff. Uh, I'm going to look at his, but I think I've already ruled him out because he has a different... Oh, he does. Jeffrey Fitzpatrick. Why did... He has a type B. Fingerprint. Why did it say a type D on... Oh, maybe I'm silly. But okay. Jeffrey Fitzpatrick, QA technician, Renworthy Corp. Um, printed employee record. Interesting. Oh! Oh, it was... No, my flashlight! I turned it on accidentally. Oh, that's why. That's why things went bad. Oh, that's so silly. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, obviously. Um, well, I'm going to drink some water. Maybe that'll help me real quick. Um, bathroom. Can we get out of here? I mean, I think I have what I need, right? The fingerprint is on the card. The fingerprint belongs to Jeffrey Fitzpatrick. I don't know what weapon he used to kill her. It said poison. I don't really have a way of determining that unless I... Oh, I could visit his house, see if he has a... Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's even... Let's... Cause. We're going even deeper. Um, doubtfully yours. Save. Okay. Well, the new problem is that I have to get out of this building somehow. Oh, it opened back up. That's great. We are going. Okay. We are being pursued by somebody who is hostile to us, but as soon as we leave the building, we're going to start a countdown timer where uh, we just have to get to safety. Did somebody just take a shot at me? I don't appreciate. How many floors are in this damn building? Let me out. Here we go. Okay. Okay, we might be good. We might be good. I can't believe I accidentally turned on my flashlight. That's so silly. <sighs> okay. I think there's a countdown timer on the uh, on the camera here. Uh, this little red bar. So once that's gone, we'll be good there. We're no longer pursued. They lost interest. Cool. Um, I would like to go to City Hall. And we are going to... Ooh, a hairpin. All right, a hairpin. We're going to look up the city directory. We're looking for Jeffrey... What was it? I've already forgotten. Anthony. Wait. Jeffrey Fitzpatrick. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba -ba, where are you? Uh-oh, somebody doesn't know his ABCs. Am I... Wait, hold on. Do I have this wrong? Is it... Is it... Is it reversed? Am I silly? Yeah, it is. Okay. J. Fitzpatrick. Um, I'm going to do... Yeah, you. Got a nice little closed loop here, don't we? That's what you like to see on a cardboard. You like to see loops. We are going to go pay uh, Mr. Fitzpatrick a, a little looky-loo. I am still bleeding. That's not great. But it will heal on its own, so maybe we don't have to worry about it. away is this place? Oops. <laughs> okay. Fifth floor of this building. So, either they went home and I can question them there, or maybe they went to the bar after work and I can sneak around to their home and find the poison evidence. That would be nice. 
Although there is also the matter of the shotgun wound? <laughs> okay. 504 Millen Projects. Let's do a little quickie save. Right, what do we think? Anything under the mat? Nope, of course not. Nobody is home. How fascinating. Oh. Hey, bud. Um, do you know this person? I work with them. Interesting. How interesting. What a good answer. Okay, hold on. Um, can you provide fingerprints? I wouldn't give you the time of day, he says. Well, that's fine. Goodbye. Okay, I'm going to end this conversation. Oh, crap. I did not have the chance to do what I needed fast enough. Okay. Hello. Hold on, buddy. Okay, you want to fight? You want to fight? We'll go. Fisticuffs, is it? There we go. All right. We got the counter hits on them. This is assault, but I think it's for a good reason. You're going to stay right there, buddy. I'm going to inspect you. Oh, that's all? That's all it does? Okay. Jeffrey Fitzpatrick. Wait, is this an automatic generated one? It is. Yep. Okay. It, it automatically uh, identified the fingerprint. That's cool. I noticed, uh... Oh, never mind. Never mind. I don't need this um, employee photo anymore. That can buzz off. All right, what do we know about you, Jeffrey? This is your fingerprint. It was on the card that links you to the murder. Hmm. Got a handwriting sample. It's a type H handwriting. I don't know if that'll be important because this was not a handwritten note, right? It was just on a business card. I don't think this um, created link, fingerprint. Yep, 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 yep. All right, I'm going to search you. What do you got? Uh, well, don't make it too easy for me. Bottle containing a poisonous chemical can be lethal to animals or humans in significant doses. Okay. Um, what is this? Business. Or, oh, a credit card. I'm gonna pin that for my personal use. All right, Jeffrey, talk to me, baby. I guess I don't really need to. I have everything I need. I think. Right. Okay. I'm going to put that down. Let's resolve. Jeff, whoops. Oh, that's right. I can select from my board here. That makes it easier. Do you have evidence that places the killer? Yes, I have their business card with their print. Where does the killer live? Um, 504 Millen Project. Have you located the murder weapon? Poison? Plan route to hand in. This one you can't manually do. It's just, do you have them in cuffs when you turn in this thing? Are you sure you want to close this case? I don't... <laughs> How silly. Okay. Um... Oh, I might I might get attacked if I'm seen in here by, by other people. I don't know for sure. I don't think I, I take this guy with me. I think it's just like... I go to City Hall and then I hand the thing in. What am I doing walking like a schlub? I could be I could be using the elevator. Ground floor. Ground beef. All right. 
Man, this is a hell of a first case, huh? The only bad thing that happened is I'm bleeding a little bit. Because I may have been shot with bullets. But who hasn't? I could have maybe searched that apartment and found a shotgun. <laughs> Nobody's cleaned up the body yet! That's so crazy. She has a pistol on her. That's so bonkers. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Alright. Hand in case. Case submitted for processing. You got some modem startup noises. Burr, 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 burr. Okay. Full name, arrest, evidence. Located the murder weapon. Didn't I select poison? Wait, hold on. Literally, was she both poisoned and shot? <laughs> That's so crazy. I was wondering if that was maybe a joke or something. Okay, well, I got, I got a social credit level up. Go me. How much money do I have? I have 1,900 bucks. That is 1,900% that is more than I started with. All right, pretty good. Pretty good. We'll call that a successful night in Shadows of Doubt. Let's keep going. Um, cool. I'm going to archive this case. Is that not what that does? Options. Close case. You'll lose all your pinned information. That's fine. We don't need it. All right. Now, let's see if, uh, let's walk around the city a little bit, see what's good. Um, I could maybe stand to stop my bleeding. Actually, in City Hall, I think I have a, a solution for that. Um, ba -ba -ba. yeah. Bandage. Hold on, I'm going to open up my web browser real quick. I want to make sure the... Because I'm a weird, paranoid person. I want to make sure the stream is doing okay on, on that end. Okay, it says excellent connection, right? Right, that's what it says? That's what it says? Yes. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat this bandage and treat my bleeding. Okay, that's good. I'm going to buy a camera because that might be handy. Another set of handcuffs is not bad. A lockpick kit... All right, let's look. Let's wait for these little pop-ups to uh, progress here. 30 lockpicks. That's really not bad for only 50 creditos. Actually, I think in this universe they call them crows. They're not, they're not coins. They're not gold. They're not gill. They're crows. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Okay. Camera handcuffs. All right. Is there anything else interesting here? I could get a code breaker if I don't know any any codes. But like you saw, they're actually pretty easy to find because they're usually just post-it notes on in very obvious places. Um, okay, a footprint. Oh. All right, I think for now we are just waiting for a case to happen. So let's, yeah, let's walk around a little bit. Hey. Um, can I buy something from you? Could I... I don't want to know who you are. I want... I didn't want to take that. No. I want to buy from you. I want your street hot dogs. I guess that's not an option. Evening. Is there really no way to, like... Energize yourself? Because there's status effects for eating food. Nope, I didn't want that. That's just a dirty napkin. Let's get that out of here. Um, but I, I don't know how you buy food. I, ha I have not interacted with that at all yet, if that's even an option. You look like a detective. What's your quest? God damn it. Everyone's so rude.
We could go home, I suppose, and like wait for wait for stuff to happen. Over in four oh four Rodriguez building. Where is uh Oh no, I actually don't know how to do that. Also this zoom in and out is not working for me for some reason. Um Hooper Terrace, where was my wasn't it over on the left? Millen Projects. Nope. Stop. Which one is Rodriguez building? Oh no. Oh there it is. Okay. I'm gonna plan a route here. Oh, I think it's literally this one right here that I was standing next to. Um, okay. And it's, what was it again? 204. I can just run up the stairs. That's not very far. That's me. Okay. Um, open evidence. I'm just going to pin this so I don't have to even think about it anymore. All right. Oh boy, what a good day. Let's uh let's see. Sleep, bed, set my alarm for wake up bright and early at 5 in the morning. I've got the well-rested buff. How about that? How often can you say you have that in life? Um, is it time? Was time progressing? It says it's nine o'clock on my... Did... It's the same day. Why did that happen? <laughs> no, get in bed. Sleep, you fool. Um, I want you to sleep until five. Um... Yeah, advanced time. Why isn't it going? <laughs> okay, it is going. It's just you can't see it happening. Ah, crap. I'm thirsty now. I guess we'll just stare at this black screen together. What's good? Uh, how's Zelda going for you? I know you're playing it. I know you are. Have you made any peni yet? Have you hit the TTP ratio? Well, now I know for sure you can eat food in this game because my character is a hungry. But we're going to keep waiting. We are going to keep waiting here. I'm steadfast till it hits five o'clock. Oh boy. I feel like I saw a video earlier where it actually has your character's eyes open while you're sleeping and you can watch the world like go in fast motion while you are sitting here. All right, five in the morning, Tuesday. Sounds like hell. Sounds like actually real life. If if I were playing this three hours from now, this game would be one hundred percent accurate. All right, actually, I should have. Why didn't I? I should go back to my apartment and maybe check my fridge for some food or something. Uh, okay. Do I have anything in here? I've got synth beef. I'll take some synth beef. Perfect. Alright. 
I don't know why that makes you nauseous. I, I don't know if you have to cook it or not. I don't think you do. But the good news is I'm not hungry anymore. Do you have to cook food in this game? Oh, candy? That would have been way better. I'm just going to eat this candy bar. Um, are there pots and pans or anything? There's pepper. Dude, what if this game eventually had cooking mechanics? Like, you cook good food for yourself and you investigate harder. That would be pretty sweet. I could have sworn I'd seen a pan in my cupboards one time, but, uh... I don't know. I just don't know. I keep opening the same ones, don't I? Over and over. I've got Dementia. Nakamo, Nakamo Tiger is a great detective, but they're a little bad he. Okay, hold on. I want to see if I can do this. Because I wanted to show this off at least once. Okay, yeah, let's open the surveillance tab on this computer. Check this out. So let's... Right now we are looking at Cockroach Restaurant, in which is part of this building, I believe. And we can say, hey, let's go back to Monday at around... Oh... Whoops, don't do that. At like um, 6 in the evening, right? In, in real time, it's taking still images, this camera... And, and the game knows how to identify all of the people that are in the image. You see how it puts a square over their face? And you can, like, look at their name. Because everyone's ID'd, of course. And you're like, oh, yes, I can see this person was talking to this person. Maybe if if Isabel here died, then, then maybe... Um, why is this coming up as unknown citizen? I don't know why that is. But um, you know what I mean. I can print out this picture. And it will always, uh, I can pin that to my corkboard and I can always reference this. Oh, I'm so sorry. It is a private area. My bad. Get the hell out of here. All right. But yeah, so that's what blew me away, right? Was not only is this game procedurally generated, it's keeping track of so much stuff. Theoretically, every single camera in the game, which there's going to, there's, on every single floor, there's two or three cameras, right? And they're all taking pictures all the time of these characters. It's, 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 it's bonkers, I tell you. Uh, my character is nauseous. Oh, I think to get rid of nausea, you have to go throw up. Right? Where's a trash can when you need one? That's a barrel. It's not trash. Uh-huh. Oh, maybe there will be one inside a restaurant. It's locked. Arg. Like, it goes away on its own eventually, but I think you can get rid of it faster. By being just a little barfy. Um, nope. I can go back here. Oh, it's an employee restroom. <laughs> There's got to be trash in there, right? Hi. Why is it so difficult to throw up? Quit washing your hands. Get out of here. Let me throw up. Here we go. Vomit. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're right. You can't vomit into a closed toilet. That would be silly. But now, because I crouch down next to a toilet, I'm smelly, and I need water still. Ugh. Maybe I should go back to my apartment and check that out again. I mean, we are still waiting for things to happen. <sighs> crime pays, but only when I'm solving it. And if crime's not happening, then I'm not getting paid. What can I do to entice crime? Can we get this route out of my face? Can I... There we go. Um, I will take a shower. 
If you're too smelly, people will smell you no matter kind of where you are. So if you're trying to stealth, that's not great. They'll be like, hey, what's that? What's that smell? Why is, why is the vents so stinky? And they'll come and investigate you, and it's not great. Okay, can I turn on the tap? I don't think I can drink out of that. <laughs> Summary of toothbrush missing. <laughs> Can I drink out of my kitchen faucet? I only turn on the taps. Can't actually drink. Are there any cups? Canned food, salt, cleaning spray. I don't think I can drink that. It's probably not ideal to drink, right? Food, food. I can eat these. That's pretty good. Whoops. But I don't know how to get water. Of course, if we're talking about, like, dystopic futures, of course water would be hard to come by, right? So I don't even know the passcode to my own computer and safe, I don't think. Nakamo Tiger. Yeah, I don't have a passcode for my own stuff. That's that's the weird thing. Oh, maybe it's in my... Can I look at my own things? Passcode unknown. That's so silly. I don't even have a picture of myself or a fingerprint. <laughs> I don't have a date of birth. Oh, wait, it's not on this thing, but it is here. 1979. Why don't we try that? Okay, it's not my birth year, so it's not... It's not that. Um, what <laughs> How do I not know my own passcode? Ah! And a lot of these things. Is it possible to take a picture of myself? Hold on. Where's where's my camera? Okay. Some of these controls, I tell you. Um, okay. Where's can, can I like take a picture in a mirror? Oh my shower is still going. That's not ideal, is it? Um, there we go. There is a toilet right here. Why didn't I think about this? Why didn't I think that my own house would have a toilet? I went and threw up in someone else's toilet. Which I guess if you really think about it, that is the pro move, right? You don't want to sully your own environment. You want to go and mess up someone else's stuff. Okay, well this is a corner store. Is there any water to be had here? I am rich. I can afford it. I just need to find it. Operate. Ooh, yeah. I don't feel like bourbon is the right thing to... Popular brand of beer. All right. I will drink the beer to alleviate my thirst. Hey, it worked. It worked, didn't it? I am well rested and I am wet. I am not thirsty. And you know what? Maybe I'm just going to eat this tinned food as a little boosty. Okay. Well, I'm I'm hydrated. I'm flourishing. I'm nourished. I'm staying in my lane. What do I do? Where do I go? Operate this vending machine. Victor Butrol. Sync disc upgrade vial. Well, if only I had a sync disc, right? Hello! How are you doing, Wub? It is good to see you. How is how is Tears of the Kingdom going for you? I saw you... I saw that pop up. You were playing that on Discord. I saw... Discord told me you were playing that. Through special means, which I also used. How's the kingdom? Is it crying? 
I'm crying because there's no crime. I need crime in Doubt City. Or else I don't get paid. Ooh, a coffee vending machine. Hell yeah. That's like water. If there's no water in coffee, then what's all that wet stuff? Oh, right. I totally forgot. This is me being a fool. I forgot these diners have have job listings. Work available. Public humiliation. Yes. Obviously, that's it. No questions asked. No questions answered. Fee. I'll make a thousand bucks. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? It's just great. I, uh... <laughs> I have finished it um, because I am a monster and I marathon things like that. Okay, humiliate job listing. Oh, I have to call this number. Okay, yeah, let's get to a payphone. Aha, a payphone. Um, 8560330. Now the real question is, is it gonna, there we go, perfect. Hear about the job. Meet me at Abram Street. I'll be sitting with a cola. Ask about Matsuda. Abram Street, Matsuda. Okay. Let's go. How interesting. I've never seen this before. I totally forgot to look at the job listings on my tutorial play. Um, a Whoops. Abram Street... Ask about Matsuda holding a cola. Whoops. Cola. Okay. Uh, where is Abram Street? My Zoom still isn't working on this for whatever reason. But coincidentally, it is exactly where we are looking. <laughs> Korok Space Program. I didn't even make that connection to Kerbal. But yeah, that is exactly what they are doing. Those brave little monsters are doing humanity's work. I did see somebody had built... I don't know how they did it. They made a multi-stage rocket um, out of just wood and rockets. <laughs> Unknown citizen. They're holding a cola. Let's talk to him. Is this Matsuda? Good, you made it. Job's easy. Find the mark and toss food in their face. Make sure it's public. <laughs> the leads for the target are in this briefcase. Take it. Take a photo of them to prove it happened. Oh, wow. Well, good thing I bought that camera. Deliver it under the door at 1601 Cossie Cascades. Okay. I'm going to drop my tin food I'm going to take this briefcase. I'm going to scan it. We'll get some prints off of this. Not like it's important to have, but it is what it is. Uh, briefcase inspect. Small rigid briefcase which can contain something important. Pick up and select the briefcase to open it. Ah, I see. Open telephone number acquired. Job information updated. Identify the perp. Oh, I'm, I'm cold. My character is shaking. Unknown citizen. Um, interesting. 5596005. I wonder if that's the, uh, the Mark's phone number. I'm going to make this little string here. Okay. Um, I will return this to my inventory. I need food, then. This gem stetter is not going to cut it. You know, I know exactly where to get food. I know precisely where. Um, hold on. Is this the building I think it is? Wait. Oh, this interface. It could really use some help. Get down here and out of the way. I want to go plan a route. There we go. OK, 
Okay, I know exactly where there's food because I just threw some on my kitchen floor. And it's perfect for this hit. It is some rotting synth beef. Oh, while I'm here, I have a phone. Let me call this number, see what's good. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Get this map out of the way. Phone number. Numbers. Hopefully being in my apartment gets rid of this cold status. Hmm. I don't think anyone's going to pick up. Alas. Um, okay, the city directory isn't going to do good because I'm working backwards here. I have the phone number, but not the person, right? Interest coffee. Their job is they're an enforcer, so they're probably going to start shooting me as soon as I throw food in their face. But hey, these things happen. Um, bioterrorism is actually probably just, uh, par for the course in Doubt City. Well, of, of, of the list of crimes you can do, it's pretty low, I feel like. Okay, this is, like, nothing to go on. Details. Okay, job's easy. Find the mark and toss food in their face. The leads for the target are on this briefcase. Take a photo of them to prove it happened. Deliver it under this address. Okay. That's great and all, but these are not leads. I don't know. How do I... Can I work backwards from a phone number? Maybe. Let's go to City Hall. Because they have a database. Maybe you can do a reverse search. <gasps> a murder. Wait. Wait a second. Cossie Cascades. That is literally one floor up from where I'm supposed to deliver this, this food picture. This vandalism picture. Interesting. Okay. Um... We'll do, let's do City Hall first, and we'll collect our case file. And then uh, we'll try this food thing. Okay, Eden Reaper, that's a good name. Uh, okay, use profile, I don't want an employee database, I want like a human database. Nope, that's not quite what I'm looking for. Ah, okay. These are not public computers, then. Hmm. I may have misunderstood what's going on at City Hall, then. Got some lockers. Um, don't want to go in there because that's how you get shot. There's a camera. Oh, it will see me. It will absolutely see me if I hang around there. Shoot. Um, what are all these about? Employee photos? It's probably for the people at City Hall. Damn, though. This is unfortunate that all I have is to go on is, um, come on, let me look at this briefcase again. Does this tell me anything at all, really? It really doesn't. Oh, yeah, that, that's a good point. The public phone idea, I like that. I'll give that a shot. It also might be the wrong time of day, because it's seven at night i called like an hour earlier maybe that made a difference
Hmm. I feel like they would normally answer after only a couple of rings. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna really make sure I know what I'm talking about here. Um, leads. Yep. Take a photo of them. Deliver it here. So I know the the address of the person I'm delivering this to, but not not anything about them really, other than this phone number. I wonder if you could determine what building they live in by the phone by the phone number. Right. Maybe that's a thing. Like each building has its own three digits starter or something. Not that that would help me a lot, but it would narrow it down a lot. Um, I guess the next thing we can do, since we're not, we don't have any leads on this person, are let's uh, actually go look at this murder case. Where? 1702 Causey Cascades. Which is what? Where is that? I can't zoom. My zoom function broke at some point. I wish there was a way to search the map for stuff. I don't think there is. So I just have to sort of go through Pop, uh, Poppy's Cafe. Millen Projects. Dewin Building. Stop it. Springs Terrace, Rodriguez Building, that's where I live. Mitchell Terrace. City Hall, I already knew that, didn't I? Kasi Cascades is one building north of us. There might be a way to search easier for, like, build... Oh, well, this makes sense. Look at this. Look at this Bobby. <laughs> Looking around for evidence. <laughs> I'm not running up 17 flights of stairs. This is not the Sheen Ra building. I'm gonna save my knees. I'm old. I feel like this is the first time we've actually heard some music in a minute. Oh, wow, the shutter is activated. Um, oh, that's interesting. There's a sabotage option for the alarms. That's handy to know. Crap, I can't do anything about the shutter, can I? I don't think so. If I trigger this alarm, does this... Will this door open up? Will whoever's on the inside open it up? Hmm. Nope. Oh, it was just about to open. It was moving. Oh, that's <laughs> silly. Come on. That's silly, right? And then I hit the thing and it closed itself right up. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, beans. Hmm. Okay, maybe we're good now. Yeah, all right. 1701, right? That's what we were looking for. 1702. Whoops. Well, let's see how this plays out. Get in there, Bobby. Can I do anything with the pneumatic tubes? That would be cool. <laughs> are you sick? Officer, are you sick? Okay, if I go in with them, is it bad? Uh, it's bad. That's trespassing. Shoot, I don't want to... All right. It's a good thing I quick saved. That could have been dangerous. 
Okay, there's the body. Let's maybe look around while they're concerned with the body. Maybe we can uh, scan for some... Oop. Okay, fingerprint type G on this light switch. Probably the owner of this home. That's a fair guess. Type G. We find a couple of those. That's a reasonable assumption. Type H. There's two people who live here. Or one person who lives here. And a murderer. Probably reasonable to say there's two people who live here. Um, stuff scattered all around, but that's not necessarily unusual for a house. Kyra Nance work rotation. Okay, that's someone who lives here. This Kyra Nance. Um, okay, an acquaintance of theirs, Ren Whitlock, has a birthday in April. <laughs> Very handy. Hmm. Okay, lots of familiar fingerprints. I think that's all we're going to get out of here till we get access to the body. Whoa! This isn't normal blood spatter. This is a ritual. That was close. Okay. Hold on. Um, I want to take out my uh, camera, actually. Let's put this on number five. We don't need coins for anything. Okay. Here's some interesting evidence. What does that say? WW paid? Let's look at some... F oh. Yeah, let's get some fingerprints maybe from this blood type. Or blood stuff here. Uh, okay, no fingerprints other than two on the wall, but that's not necessarily unusual, is it? Um, there's a footprint, but it could be mine, because I'm walking all over this body. <laughs> Okay, I've inspected. Let's search the body. Bullet wound, buckshot, just like the last one. They had a hammer on their body. From examining the body, it determines the victim has been shot to death with a shotgun. I can determine the time of death between 4.30 and 5.45 in the morning, Tuesday, January 3rd. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, these were on the body. Can I take that hammer, maybe, and scan it for prints? Uh, yes, take. Oh, shit, my inventory's full. Of course it is. Uh, let's get rid of this briefcase, I suppose. We don't necessarily need that anymore. I'll take this person's print. Okay, they were the type H. And the type G is the person who lives with them. Okay. So we have this hammer. We can scan this for prints to see if it has anything on it, right? Yep, only, only type H, so that's not really... That doesn't seem important. Unless they hammered themselves. Oops. I made too much noise. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, officer. <laughs> Nothing in here. The, the body's just settling. That's all it is. Okay. Paperclip. Don't mind if I do. Mm -hmm. Smokes, comb, a lighter... A, a different hammer. <gasps> Ooh, sink disc vial. Yes. We will take that. I don't care if it's stealing. OK, 
Okay. Um, Nance and Whitlock are the two people who live here. Um, I don't really see anything out of the ordinary near the body, right? There's no... There's no obvious murder weapon. Oh, a third hammer. Real big hammer enthusiasts here. A note. Passcode this time, 8986. Oh. Okay, hold on. 8986. Let's remember that. WW, Walt Whitlock. Or Ren Whitlock, sorry. Ren Whitlock. Okay, that's their phone number. WW paid. Did the roommate have... Is this a hit? WW paid. What does that mean? Hi, honey bunny. Don't forget to pick up milk. Ooh, top quality fish. Hell yeah. Ask me for all about later. Hi, but I finally got that travel approval to go visit my mother, but of course it's only valid for today. I would have to leave now and I won't be home until late. Don't worry, I'll see you later. Oh, Kyra Nance. Okay, that's our Vic, I'm believing. Okay. That might be all we're getting out of that. Nance's plant. Oh, did Kyra Nance own her own business? That might be the case. Oh, oh, the body is Ren. Okay, so Kyra is the roommate. Okay. Maybe Kyra killed Ren. Whoops. 8446 is the other lady's password. Okay. 8446. How handy that they kept both of their passwords right in their desks. Kyra Nance. Okay, we've got a photo. V-mails. I'm sorry. There, I said it. Again, can you cut me some slack? Madeline Washington. That might be a name to pay attention to. Let's print that. Because that email seems a little ominous. Um, about later. Oh, okay, that's the one they sent to Ren. Lunch date. Sync disk reminder. Okay, just the usual spam other than that. Okay, we have a new name to go on then. We have this uh, Madeline Washington. I'm going to go, boop, put these two profiles on the board. I'm going to link these two as roommates or maybe lovers we don't know let's see what are we doing we're almost at two hours i should maybe hurry this up a little bit okay this looks good to me what about this v-mail do i care about this this also like my my pattern recognition from all of the detective and mystery novel stuff that i've ever encountered this Kyra Nance on um, on Sunday is like, hey, honey, buddy, I got travel to go and visit my mother. But of course, it's only valid today. I have to leave now. Oh, but I won't be home till late. So that makes it sound like it's the same day. And they were only mur they, they This person was murdered on the third. So it's not like. Eh. Anyway. See if there's any prints in this blood on the ground, because this is obviously a very abnormal blood spatter here. It's not spatter. It's This is deliberate. Oh, interesting. I didn't know I could scan footprints like that. That's probably mine, though, right? Because I've been walking all over the body. <laughs> Whatever. Um, What do we think? Have we found everything that we can't? Oh, here we go. Open up the storage box. Kyra Nance, okay. It's their employment agreement. 
Medical officer, high blood pressure. Okay, nothing too interesting. Tenancy agreement. Certificate of birth. Okay, we know all that. Oh, the safe was open. There is a diamond in the safe. Suspicious. Um, okay. Well, I mean, this is an obvious choice. Actually, let me scan this diamond for prints. Nothing there. Type G. Type I, that's a new one. Okay, this was found at the murder scene. That's a new print. Fascinating. So my hunch is this type I fingerprint opened the safe, but uh, didn't take a diamond. <gasps> oh, the shoddy. Hello. Type G. Type G. Even more curious. Kyra's fingerprints are all over this shotgun. And this cleaning spray. Oh, that's my synth beef. That's me. There's no fingerprints on the diamond. How could that be? Um, I would like to inspect this and keep it here. So now I have that on my cork board. The mystery deepens, doesn't it? Okay, so we found potentially the murder weapon. I mean, it's a shotgun, right? It's got to be related. Business card. Oh, I, I should look at Kyra's picture so we can... Wait, didn't I already? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, you didn't see anything, did you? That's what I thought. All right, um, what are our leads? We could maybe go, if we found out Kyra's workplace, which I think we know it, we could go to her work and see if there's any emails there at Nance's plant. Um, we know her phone number. Address is, yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nance's plant. I don't know if you can search. I really don't think you can search your map for places. Oh, there's a button to open up your own apartment. I had no idea. That's so handy. Center on player. Hmm. You can buy multiple apartments, which is neat. Um, I don't know what you would do that for. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I can't think of a reason why you would, but they're available. Man, each of these lockers I could lockpick and break into. That's so cool to me. How, how granular the, the random generation, um, makes things like just how large and small scale it gets um okay yeah i'm i feel like i'm at a loss first of all i don't maybe i could try calling this food humiliation again maybe that's worth a, a try what time is it it's nine in the morning or is that that night is that nine at night i can't tell I think they use 24-hour clocks, so it's got to be 9 in the morning. Um, this is City Hall, right? Yeah. Let's try this phone one more time. See if anyone picks up. Two rings, no answer, we're good. We're just going to leave it. Hmm, okay. 
And let's uh, forget about the humiliation for now. Damn it, the stuff hides behind the menu here. It's so annoying. Well, I, ha I know where she works, uh, just not like in the universe. Where is Nance's plant? I feel like it would be one of these. Um, whoops, stop it. Poppy's Cafe. I feel like it's not going to be in a building, right? Springs Terrace. Oh, damn. There's not many buildings that are like that. Oh, Nance's Plant Cafeteria. I thought it was like a production facility. Okay. Let's plan a route for that. Yes, please. Maybe we can catch her at work. I mean, my hunch is that she's the killer because... The damn, uh... Ooh. Nope, I don't want to be doing that. Or do I? Hmm. Okay, well, obviously the business isn't open right now. Where's the, where's the cameras at? There's just one... Is that a camera I'm looking at? It sure is. It's looking right at me. Oh, this whole place is Nance's plant, isn't it? This is just the cafeteria for it. Oh, I'm such a fool. I'm such a silly goose. Okay, this is not... It's not a restaurant. It's a whole ass thing. Exactly what I thought it was. I don't mind stealing from someone who maybe killed their partner. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, door. Hmm. Well, I've got enough paper clips. I can just break this open. Got enough money to buy many lockpicks, should should I need to. Um, oh, a telephone router. That's interesting. View call logs. <laughs> wow, it's nothing. Is that all this is, is call logs? In the power room? What was the point of this? Oh, there's the surveillance room. If I go in here, I can I can turn these cameras off. That would be a great uh, boon to me. Yeah, off, alarm off, off. Okay. We're good there. Uh, ew, you got rats and stuff. You got an infestation. Garbage all over the floor. What's your deal, Nance? Oh, we found a post-it note right next to a computer. What do you think it says? Passcode 8446. <laughs> Nance's plan. Okay, it's just her business card. She keeps a paper clip and a business card in a safe. That's the level of intelligence we're working with here. All right, we don't need surveillance. Let's check the V-mails. See if there's any uh, public admittance to, uh, to like a... Oh, no, it's the same exact mail as her home computer. Yep, okay. Damn, didn't really learn anything from that then, did we? What is this, exit, right? Yeah. Ooh. 
This ain't exactly Metal Gear, but I am I am doing some stealthiness here. <gasps> Aha. Nothing. Okay, so that must have just been her locker. I got lucky, but also there's nothing in it. That's super great. Super useful for me. I'm not 100% sure I'm getting anything out of this plant, unless I can find Kyla. Damn. Although I do have Madeline Washington. I can, I may, I can maybe go look up that name. Um, where am I? Where's City Hall? It's right here, right? Am I wrong? Where's City Hall? Or just any public payphone, but I don't think there's a lot of payphones in the streets. Okay, what's the name? Washington Madeline. W, oops, wait, do I, I always do this backwards, don't I? W Madeline, right? What's wrong with me? Or is it M Washington? Yes, it is. I'm so stupid. <laughs> um, wait, where did that... Where did that address just go? I had it. Where did it go? Whoops. Uh... Oh, I did pin it. Okay. It is that one. 1102 Duan. Duan. Make a route. Dink. There we go. And then up 11 stories. This is a very loose lead because this is just an email correspondence with the suspected killer, but it's worth looking into, right? You're not a detective if you don't look into these things. If you don't, uh, if you don't have that Columbo-esque attention to detail. But, we're coming up on two hours. This might be the last thing we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. Hello, unknown citizen. What's your name? Madeline Washington. Why? Perfect. Um, do you know Ren Whitlock? Saw them somewhere around Kazi Cascades. Yes, in in your friend's apartment. Do you know this person? I work with them. That's Kyra Nance. Suffers from high blood pressure. Yes, actually, I know that from uh, a document. Have you seen or heard anything unusual? This person is actually unusually uh, cooperative. You normally don't get this kind of thing. Okay. Um, can I come in and take a look around? No. Let's... Um, fingerprint type I. Okay. Madeline Washington has a type J fingerprint, which I don't think we saw anywhere. We only saw H, G, and I. And Kyra Nance has... <gasps> Kyra Nance has an unknown fingerprint. Now that's interesting. So who... Whomst is type H? I made an assumption, and I don't think I cataloged it. Um, uh-oh. Wait, can I scan this diamond for prints? Oh, it does have type H. That's perfect. 
<laughs> okay, type H is Ren. Oh, yeah, we knew that. So that does not help me. That's Ren's diamond. They don't need it. They're dead. Okay. Um. Oh, no, the diamond. Hmm. Type G is the print that I, I need to know about then. My bounty is very high and it keeps increasing for some reason. Why is it going up? I didn't do anything new. It's not stopping. I'm worth 13, 14,000 crows, 15, and climbing. Okay, we're good. <laughs> um, damn, I wonder if there's a... Uh... Kyra and Ants. Okay, so Ren was in love with Kyra, maybe not the other way around. So this was Ren talking about going to his mom, mom's house on January 1st, but we don't really care about that. Print of email, Kyra Nance. Okay, maybe this V-mail was nothing, but business card. Got this picture that says WW paid. Entry wound from a shotgun. We have the shotgun which had type uh or, or um type G prints on it. Is there any way to get I suppose, actually, if I went to Kyra's plant um, and got on her computer, I could find her her prints, right? Ah, oh, damn. Where was it? I think it was in, like, the top left of the, of the island. Yeah, this is going to be the last thing I do, and then I'm going to try to make a judgment call on this case and wrap it up early without really having all the facts. Ooh, what's in this door? Why is it locked? Oh, it's just a lobby. Whoops! Sorry, sorry, you didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. You don't know I'm here. That's my purse. I don't know you. Okay. Uh, employee database. Uh, Kyra. Whoops. Nance? What? Is it not Kyra? Do I keep... Yeah, it's Kyra Nance. Wash. Nance. Fucking... What? Hold on. Let's look for Madeline. Is this a different... Is each floor of this place a different building or a different company? That can't be, right? Nance's plant processing floor. Huh. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's silly. Oh no. Or nor. How do I get back to that computer? Okay, hold on. I'm going to pick this again. Oh, if only I had a key, that would make things easier. What are the odds that's Kyra herself? What do we think? I'm trespassing, so I don't want to... <laughs> Maybe he'll forget about me. <gasps> oh no, I turned off the computer instead of accessing it. Uh, oh wait, I know her code. It's fine. <laughs> that's so easy to do, it's ridiculous. Okay, plant admin, employee database, Kyra Nance. Okay, there we go. 
print take <gasps> type G. And is that not what we found on the gun? Okay, we know that about her. Okay, Renance, yeah, we know she's got a type G fingerprint. Um, let's let's look for Madeline Washington and see what her prints are. I think I think I already determined. Yeah, she's type J. That's not. That's a big fat goose egg. Okay. I'm gonna go look at that shotgun again. Excuse me. Where was the shoddy at? Ren lives. Seven Causey Cascades. Can I not? Where's uh? There we go. It is so roundabout to find where you want to go sometimes. Like if you are not keeping meticulous um, personal notes, or or committing things to evidence, which it's very easy to dismiss a screen without thinking about it. Um, you won't have it on your board, and you won't necessarily have um, that hard connection you need to to go where you want. I'm going to look at that shotgun one more time, maybe take some prints off that, or remind myself of what prints it had on it. And then I think I'm ready to, to say that Kyra is the killer. Or at least she's involved in it in some way. She may not be the actual killer. Because there is a fingerprint we haven't seen. But, like I said, it's the end of the stream. We're ready to take a leap of logic here, right? And you don't always get your bad guy. You're not always allowed that closure, are you? Okay. Um, diamond can go on the ground for now. Taking up shotgun. Scan for printies. It is type G. It's Kyra Nance. Her fingerprints are all over the gun. Taking my diamond, though. All right. Is that you, Kyra? Are you coming home? Sorry, that's personal. I'll pay you 50 bucks for your name. That's fine. Whoops. Um, let's resolve this case. It's Kyra Nance. Um, yes, I have... <laughs> it's her residence. She lives there. Actually, uh... Hold on. Um, shotgun, I guess. Oh, where does she live? How do I? How can I get that out of my cork board? Um, ah, oh jeez. How how do I? How do I put the address on my board here? Connection. There we go. See what I mean about how the data is sometimes just a little a little funny. Located murder weapon. Oh wait, no, I don't want to close the case. I want to hand it in. I am not Detective Conan and this case is not closed. I am so very thirsty, like my character is, but also me, the real human. Very thirst. Okay, where is City Hall? It's actually right here, isn't it? Let's meet the bastards at City Hall! And in case. Good luck, nerds! Okay, did not get the killer, did not get any of it. And that's apparently not the murder weapon. Unloved. Oh, wait, it says unsolved. Ah, oh, beans. Please try again. 
Okay. Well, that's not bad. Actually, I think this is the only... Maybe the ones in red are... Oh, yeah, it says all these are... This is the only thing you need. These other ones are all optional. That's interesting. How is the Shackley shotgun not the murder weapon? Oh, oh, it did accept these, but I just didn't get them because I didn't get the right killer. Okay, well, anyway. That's it for Shadows of Doubt, for, for now at least. Maybe we'll continue this on another stream, but uh, I just wanted to show that off. Because this game is really impressive to me. It's doing some really cool things. But until next time... Gosh, what, what else am I going to do? I don't know what I'm going to stream. I have so much stuff I want to stream that it's like Sophie's Choice here. I'm paralyzed by choice. But I digress. I'll catch you next time on something. And it doesn't matter what. Go drink water, because that's what I'm going to do. And uh, get rid of those headaches. You know you have them. You know you've got a dry mouth and a painful head. You can solve both of those problems at once. Just drink some water. I'm telling you. Goodbye.